How's it? How's it, everybody? Welcome back to the Nomersburg region. Sanctum Gamer here, and we are 46 episodes in, and that officially marks the point at which Nomersburg has overtaken City of Tando. Who would have thought? A city that I started almost a year later has officially got more videos than Tando. Uh, that says something, right? And on that, Tando, let's talk about it quickly. Because I had really hoped that my next video was going to be a Tando video. But unfortunately, I have not been able to get Tando up and running in the same way that I have with Nomersburg. Now, it's running. The only thing is that I think I've hit the prop limit, which is weird. I have prop anarchy. I have all these various anarchy mods. And when I check the limits, it says that I've got 256,000, you know, limit props. But for some odd reason, it's not loading my city completely. And I noticed that in the areas that I've built or that I was building, the video that I was putting together, that the last set of more props that I put down don't load at the end or when the game actually fires up completely. Almost everything else is there, but what is currently in the game doesn't match what I have recorded already. And every time I place down a new prop, it just disappears. So I did some Googling, well, not Googling. I checked on the workshop and I see that there's a new, or there are a whole bunch of new mods, uh, prop control or control. I can't even remember what it's called. I tried to fidget around with this for a little bit, but I did not get any success. So I figured I would park it and get a video out in Nomersburg, which seems to be working perfectly fine. And then I will find some more time and see if I can debug what the issues are with City of Tando. So for now, unfortunately, Tando is not where it should be. I can boot up the game. I can get into the game. There are no errors. It's just that what I had built in, in what I was aiming to be the next Tando video does not match what's in the video files that I have. So I am going to keep trying to work at it. And as soon as I get it up and running, I promise we will get a Tando video out. But the task at hand today, it's Nomersburg. So we've got this empty space. It's the last area near the industrial area close to the harbor that just needs to be filled. And then this entire area will be considered complete. And then we move back to the other side of the railway and ex hopefully be able to expand the, the town out to the highway in the next video. And then we'll consider this town done. I think there wouldn't be anything else left for this town except the university that I will be adding. But I think once we expand the city out to where the, the highway is, we'll consider it complete. And then I will put in a request for a name for this town. So we've got quite a number of towns already in, in the region. We've got Charlestown. We've got Gizerton. We've got... I don't even remember all of them now. What Driftwood is another one. But this is the biggest of all the towns that we've built so far. And this is meant to be the sort of capital town of the Nomersburg region. Or at least in the region that is visible in this set of small little towns that we are building. So we'll, we'll be getting a, a name for the town hopefully some kind of backstory behind the town there are so many little stories that we've got already in this town that we've built right we've got the story behind the circus we've got the story behind the rail yard the story behind that abandoned factory there are so many stories so it's going to be nice to see if someone can come up with a story that incorporates as much of that as possible something that tells the history of this town and a nice name to go with it of course so for anybody who would be interested in submitting a name for the town this is your chance start thinking about it once the town is complete i will post it on the discord server and see if 
we can get a nice name and backstory for it. So as mentioned earlier, the aim of this video is to fill in this entire block and I'm aiming to fill it with mostly residential but over here where we're building I needed to blend it in from that main avenue and just across the road there is there are massive shopping complexes there is a circus and stuff and then to the top left of the screen here that you're looking at there's a huge well rare for this town a big hospital complex there they are the apartments that we built way back as well as apartments under construction so this area is meant to be a slightly gentrified area and that's why I'm, i've put together a couple of these apartments we've got this space here that i'm working on at the moment that is sort of indicative that there's more construction happening so a lot of these houses are slowly falling away and these apartments are coming up and then i try to use uh, these uh, college assets by Ken Leno just to make it look like those houses are not as well maintained and then away from where the gentrification is happening so the area that we're building now is an area that is a little bit more structured so the the road networks are breaking the grid I as you can see I am really trying to avoid a grid layout in this town I think the very the varying direction of the roads really adds life to the town it breaks the monotony something that i really quite enjoy and then continuing with the bicycle path right so like i said earlier i wanted this entire town to have as much bicycle lane connections as possible so the way it's been done at the moment from this side which is the what this residential areas here by the harbor right through to the opposite end of this town you, it's all connected via a bike path which is something that i am very happy with and we've got a bike path that goes under the real yard to the other side of town as well which is really cool and really awesome but around here these residential area areas are more maintained because this is i guess the main residential areas of this town so I continue to use these Avania assets, beautifully decorated or detailed, plop them all over this place, maintain the, the beautiful look, splash down a whole bunch of trees, make sure that the place is well insulated from all the noise that will be coming from that avenue that is running you know, up and down over the top there by the circus. I mean, all of those areas, you can imagine there's a lot of noise that will come from there, right? So by putting all these trees there, hopefully that kind of buffers out a bit of the noise. But then I think overall, the blend from the commercial spaces towards the, right, the left of the screen to the residential areas, I think I got the look quite nicely, I think. And... And then now this area needs to get blended in with the harbor and in the industry area. That was always going to be a very interesting thing for me and something that I I worked at quite a bit. I, I had a couple of iterations of how the area must look from building old dilapidated houses to putting down old factories that are no longer in use. But in the end, I tried to get a blend of the two i didn't want the residential areas to go right up to where the industry starts so the industry going towards the harbor areas and at the same time i didn't necessarily want that whole area to just be filled with or this whole area to just be filled with broken down industry so i tried to keep the divide between the residential areas that you see now so the nicely kept together houses and the industry area quite small and we, we're gonna get to that right now but if you see near the avenue i made that area kind of dirty <laughs> i don't know if that's the right term but i've got the, a path that runs all the way along there just to indicate that people are moving to and from the industry quite a lot 
because that is where a lot of the working class people i guess are so they follow a lot of these parts to go there and get all of the work done so because of that that whole area is kind of mushed up and messed up so i extended this bike path with the intention of having a cut through this entire area but then if you see what i'm doing right now is that i am beginning the blend of the residential area into the industry and so i've got all of this area that's very heavily overgrown and these houses that are clearly not very well maintained right so everything around it is completely getting out of hand there's trash everywhere and then i decided to put down that asset that looks like it's a burnt down house and after doing this i realized that but hang on i could actually change the story around this area instead of trying to build something that blends in very well to the next space i kind of figured what if at some point the city council had a plan for this area they were trying to perhaps remove the industry and stuff that was creeping into this this block now that we are about to work on so the city council or city planning at some point had this idea that this whole area would be cleared of industry and they would develop a residential space here and initially some of that stuff started taking place but due to its proximity to the industry and whatever other discomforts came with staying here this really didn't take off so the few houses that got built got abandoned and ultimately ended up falling apart and then this bike path i thought well what if we leave the bike path as something that was incomplete and a section of the bike path has effectively collapsed and that's why i did it the way i i kind of set out this network that it it's collapsed down to the ground it's dirtying up it's been completely forgotten about and all the houses here that were initially built or the initial people that settled here have now moved out nobody cares about this place the land value for this area is extremely low because it's so close to the industry the city council has given up on it and overgrowth and all those things are just taking place so i that idea came to mind and I figured, hey, let me give that a try. And I think that idea actually worked out very nicely. It served a wonderful blending space where you have the scaffolding of this old industry building that's sitting up there that is completely dilapidated. You've got a couple of houses here where some of them have been completely abandoned. They've been reclaimed by nature. There's growth going through them. But then at the same time, there's one or two here that are still, I don't know, I guess holding strong, right? But the entire yard is filled with rubbish and you can see that the people staying here do not actually maintain it. And then the last industry building that hadn't moved yet when the plans had begun by council continues to stand because now with nobody pushing for the area to get cleared out and for development to take place and so on nobody was bothering the the industry that was sitting here and so the was the tram station across the road i guess kind of extended its way into the space that i'm building now across the road with i don't know call it uh, some kind of tanks that hold something with some small warehouses and then the entire area around it is just abandoned, overgrown. There's trash everywhere. And I think this this look came together very nicely. And it, it worked as a beautiful blend from the residential area into the industry area. It captures the, the old style that I am continuing to try and capture at various points within the town. And I think this blend was was almost exactly what I had envisioned. It was way better than bringing the houses all the way up against the road because I thought that just did not look right. Those the residential area was just hugging the industry area way too tightly for my liking. And this blend I thought captured 
the essence of this town pretty much in the exact way that I wanted it to to be. So yeah, let me know what you think of that blend area. I think that collapsed bicycle path is it's a beautiful touch and again it adds to the story of the town, right? That not everything is perfect. Not everything about the town is as it should be and the certain areas are neglected. Certain areas are not as well maintained as they should be. And I think that is really indicative of real life. And yeah, I, I quite like the way that area turned out a lot. And then finally, we've got this block, which is just a residential, really a residential area expansion. We're going to fill this entire block with houses in different shapes and different i don't know road layouts again i i did not want to grid up the whole place so i did my best to mix up the different shapes of the roads some areas are straight others are irregular others are some weird shapes but either way i built other it's the reason why i so didn't build up all of the road networks in this block and then put the houses instead put the road network down in a small area then fill it out then the next area then fill it out and it allowed this place to look a lot more dynamic it looked unplanned it looks like the town just organically grew and it's something that i really wanted to capture in this town and i think the irregular shape of the road the lack of grid really helps capture all of that and the small area is an area that isn't built because it's, I don't know, they've got rocks there or nobody bothered to buy this place. Uh, the cost of removing all of these stones and boulders and all that was just not worth it. And so this small uh, little area is just a mini untouched park, which I don't know, people can just go in and, and play in. And then lastly i'm sticking in a school or well, not a school well it's a school it's an elementary school it's something that i don't have a lot of around this town so i thought this would be a good place to have one to cater for this residential area that sits in and around this space again mixing everything from education to residential to industry to commercial it's all just happening in this space and I love the chaos of this town and how everything is just meshed up and mingled together. I think the, the, the essence of what I was trying to capture in this town came out perfectly and I am super, super happy. On the other side of the rail yard, just to complete this town, we'll make that area a little bit more run down than this space. So this is kind of the nicer part of town, right? That's why all these houses are fairly nice they've got fairly well maintained hedges they're close to the commercial space and so on so these are this is the nice part of town and then on the other side we will just make the area look a little bit more run down to kind of complete it and then from here lastly we'll fill this last blocked up area with a couple of houses Put a couple of bushes along the the road separating the houses and the industrial area towards the bottom and then we will consider this entire space pretty much complete so yes everybody that is pretty much it for this episode i hope you enjoyed it i want to say thank you very much for watching i hope you like the way all of this turned out i mean during the cinematics you get to see how everything blends in together and i think it came out quite nicely so yes thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up leave a comment let me know what you you think what you would like to see as we continue to expand all of this big thanks to my patrons for all the support that they continue to show me really really appreciate it i am going to try and keep churning out videos as often as i can i think a two weekly schedule might be better for me but we'll see how my power situation goes thank you all so much for watching take it easy keep safe and i hope to catch you all in the next one cheers everybody